Hi, welcome back to Just an Ordinary Girl. Tonight we're going to make corn apple fritters in the air fryer. So first you're going to need one cup of flour. And we're going to put it through this little thing and we're going to sift it so it gets real fine. Okay, then we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. You're just going to sift all this into your bowl so everything will be nice and fine. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Again, sifting it. Next, you're going to get three tablespoons of confectioner sugar. It's there. And just, again, we're sifting all the dry ingredients into the bowl. This just makes it fine and easy to use and it takes out any hard, um, you know, any hard little balls like that. You just have to keep sifting it till it goes through. Okay, so you just want to whisk this just to incorporate it all together, just like that. And then all we're going to do is set this aside. Okay, next we're going to get uh, make a flax egg. It's one tablespoon of meal to three tablespoons of water. So I poured my water in there. So there's three tablespoons of water. And then you're just going to add a tablespoon of flax egg. This is substitution for one egg. Um, and you let this sit about five minutes until it coagulates. Next, we're going to get an apple. You can use any kind of apple you want. You're going to wash it and peel it and cut it into little bite-sized pieces. Okay, I'll show you how I cut mine. So, I got mine peeled. Now, I'll just take my knife. I run it down alongside the seeds like that. Just like that. Take out anything like that. And then I flip my pieces over. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay, like that. And then I just start making little tiny slices into the apple. Just like that. Now, you, depending on how big your apple is, you may have extra. We want one cup total. And then just cut real tiny little pieces they want it to be bite-sized and since they're a little long I don't want them long I want them chopped even finer than that so I'll go ahead and just cut you know try to get them small I want them real tiny little bite-sized pieces just like that the finer it is it's easier to work with when it's in your dough. Just remember that. But you also kind of want that uh, that little bite, you know. You want to be able to taste the apple, but you kind of want it small enough to work in the dough. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this. But see how little? That's what you want, little bite-sized pieces. Okay, guys, so now the flax egg is done. You can see it's uh, sticky. I don't know if you can tell, but I'll show you. You see how that comes apart a little bit? It's uh, it's ready. So it should resemble like a real egg, like the egg whites or whatever. Then you want to add a third cup of milk. I use almond milk. Now, if you're using a real egg, you can just add your milk right in with the egg and do this. But if you're doing, like me, the flax egg, you just want to um, do the flax egg first and then add your milk. And all we're going to do is we're going to put this right into the dry ingredients over here. Like that. And we're just going to start um, folding that in. Okay, so just get a fork or something and just stir up your ingredients. Sort of like this. Almost like you're making a pie crust type of um, dough, but you're not. You're just mixing the wet into the dry, and then you're going to want to make sure you have nice clean hands and 
um, what you're going to do is, once this gets all together, see how I got it all together now? Okay, now, just going to take your hands, and you're going to go ahead and put your apples, and you're just going to put them, fold them right in. Well, I, I do it this way. This is how I do it, just folding it in, trying to get those apples all into the into the flour dough as much as you can um by the way this apple here i used was a gala uh, my the recipe i have here calls for a sour type apple this this re, this app that the gala apple is not sour it's a sweeter apple so if you have a sweeter apple like me you could um take out you know you could do a little less on the powdered sugar or you could leave it i actually forgot to take a little powdered sugar out so i kind of left it in but um, you could um, adjust that sugar to your liking your sweetness okay that's all you want to do is just keep folding it full pushing it down sort of like kneading till about so you can get about every apple to stick into the dough this might take you you know a few minutes five about five minutes probably to get it all in there don't worry if some come out you know just as much as you can get that dough in there this dough is real easy to work with too so just like that and once you see that you've got it pretty much in there then you could um you could stop <laughs> okay next you're going to get your fryer basket which is this thing and then every fryer basket i guess should have an insert like this and what you're going to do is you're going to get some parchment paper and how i like to measure mine is just to take the paper and you're going to put it like this over top of your basket I flip it over, so I put it on top, then I flip it. And then just get your scissors, and then you can sort of cut around it, you know, the best you can. Just sort of like that. And you're gonna come up with a nice little, well, the best you can, you know, come up with a nice little uh, paper on your basket insert i don't know what you call it when it comes into there just like that now you put this back into your basket like that and then you have your little parchment paper i'll show you what that looks like see kind of like that it doesn't matter if it comes up a little bit the object is to cover the bottom but um, when you, and when you put these fritters on here, you're going to try to put it on each corner so it holds it down because you don't want this paper flying up because there's a uh, burner there and that burner could catch, you know, you could catch your paper fire. So um, you just want to make sure you drop them in the right spots. Okay, next we're going to get a big, uh, big tablespoon, sort of like... So like that. See, here's a regular spoon here. You want to use the bigger one. We call it a tablespoon. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your dough and you're just going to go in with that and come up just like that. And then let me move this out of the way so I can show you. Then we're going to start on the corner and you're just going to take your finger and kind of push it off just like that. And you're just going to go all the way around to each corner and stick a, a ball just like that. Okay, so my basket holds about five. Um, now we're going to go ahead and bake this. Okay, guys, so now all you do is push it into your air fryer. Temperature is going to be the 400 then you're going to set your time down here for three minutes that's strange okay so hit your 
start and then in three minutes we're going to pull it out and we're going to flip it over that's weird that this um air fryer burn out like that and this is only a year old and this is that i think it was called beautiful yeah this is the barry moore's uh beautiful air fryer can you believe that it's only a year old and um anyways so that's how you do it just hit your air fry set your time for three minutes and then once that you know cooks then we're gonna uh, or bakes then we're gonna take them out and we're gonna flip it put them back in i'll show you when that time comes okay so while that's baking i'm just gonna show you how i make my icing so i'm gonna take a couple tablespoons of powdered sugar okay so for the record there i did three tablespoons of powdered sugar and now i'm gonna do milk oops i think i got a little bit so that's like one tablespoon and a little, tiny little bit extra. And I'm just going to go ahead and I want my uh, whisk back. I'm going to whisk this up. Now you can, um, we're going to do two ways. So this here is just like a glaze topping. And then we're also just going to do a maple uh, syrup with brown sugar topping. Okay, so this just went off. Let me show you what this looks like. So this is how it comes out, looking like that. Okay, you just want a little pancake spatula. And you're just gonna hold the, hold the paper with one hand and take your other hand and grab a hold of that um, dough. Just like that. I'm just going to do that for each one. You're just going to flip them over. It's really not that hot, so I don't think you'll burn yourself. It can be a little tricky, though, because I'm trying to let you see what I'm doing. Just like that. They get a little out of shape you can reshape them but they look pretty good see okay okay now we're going to just put it back into the air fryer air fry and bring it down to three again and just bake it just like that Okay, guys, so while that's baking, you can get yourself a, um, a sheet pan. And what I like to do is I like to put parchment paper on the bottom of it. I mean, you could potentially just leave it, but that's not, you know, to me it's less mess if you do it this way. And then you're going to have one of these cookie cooling racks. And you're just going to uh, set it down onto your parchment paper pan. And uh, when they come out, we we'll put them here, and then that's how we'll ice them. Okay, guys, so now they just came out of the oven. That's the third, the three minute, six minutes total. Ouch. Ooh. Now they can be a little hot. <laughs> and you're just going to line them up on your tray. Okay, and you're going to get your um, icing, and you're just going to start drizzling them over the top. Just like that. Now this will be here to cool. You see, that's what they look like. First up with the icing. Now while these are cooling, you're gonna go ahead and do whatever you have left. There's not much there, but I could probably get two more out of that and bake those again for six minutes, three on each side. Okay guys, so now these are done that's the ones that were left here's a little piece but i don't think it'll fit <laughs> like that and we're gonna grab some cinnamon hopefully you can see this we're just gonna dust the top 
that might be a little too much but it'll be good now I have some homemade Vermont maple syrup it's pure maple straight from the trees I stick it in this little thing so that I can pour it and I'm just going to slightly pour it over top and I'm just going to let this sit there a little bit now this won't harden up but this will taste good and you can serve it just like that okay don't those look good but guys yummy that's the cinnamon ones and that's the glazed ones i'm gonna go ahead and cut this and show you what it looks like on the inside i can already tell you they're delicious because we've eaten these before once before That's that one. They cut nice too. Okay, here's the glazed one. Mmm, doesn't that look good? And here's the cinnamon one. Cinnamon maple one. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> I bet you guys all want a bite of that. Anyways, let's see on this side. What does it look like here? Yeah. Mm, see all the little apples? Here's what the bottoms look like, which you already saw. They're real light and airy. Mm, mm, mm. They're delicious, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and um, love yourself and others. Let me know how um, this turned out for you. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for being patient and understanding. Um, on this video because I know someone was waiting on it and I hope that you will enjoy this recipe and uh, again have a nice night thank you for watching